Yo, what's going on guys? It's King Touch Pro and welcome back to another tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how I made the demo in the beginning of this video and I will be covering an update of the Filmora, the awesome editing software in my opinion for free. I will leave a link in the description so you guys can check it out. But uh, without further ado, let's go ahead and begin. Now, once you open up Filmora, you should have an update if you haven't updated already. Now, if you go on to the left, you're going to have media where you can import all of your pictures, all of your videos, and all of that type of stuff. Now, of course, you're going to have that new pack. It's the 8-bit uh, game or the 8-bit gamers pack that you guys can purchase for 15 bucks. I will leave it in the description so you guys can check it out. And it's actually really worth the investment, in my opinion. Because you get all of these cool little graphics and in my opinion that's awesome because you don't have to create it in After Effects or anything like that. And uh, yeah, so if you go onto music, you're going to have a bunch of music and to preview it, all you have to do, you can go through each single one and just push space bar on your keyboard to listen to it. Or you could of course just click the plus button or the play button right there. And you're going to have that. You could, of course, go on to the next one, which is Gamer Music 5. But to add it, wherever you are in the timeline, you could just click the plus icon. Or you could, of course, just drag it and place it wherever you want. Now, depending on how many music tracks you have, this will be limited. One of the implemented features in the new update of 7.5. And I'm currently on version 7.6.1 on the Mac. Now, one of their biggest improvements, I guess, is one of their uh, UI changes. Now... On the Mac version, you don't have the option to actually change the color scheme. It usually goes dark, but on the Mac, you don't have that, which is kind of weird. But I wish they can add it. But for the PC, you will have a button here, or on the top right, I believe, kind of like in Final Cut Pro 10. So if you're working at night, it won't be so harsh on your eyes, which is pretty cool in my opinion. Now the next uh, really cool feature is the audio mixer. A lot of people have been wanting to add an audio mixer. So you guys can change and really customize and make it your very own video and everything. So what you want to do is, first of all, on the left, you're going to have your video track. The second one is going to be your picture or images track and elements or overlays. I believe that's for this one here. And then the next two or one, depending on how many music tracks you have, this will be the music track. And this is what you really want to focus on, depending if you're... Stuff here has audio as well. And just push play. So now you could, of course, monitor the audio levels so you know if it's peaking, it will be in red like that. Or if you want to lower it, you can just lower it like that and it will give you the decibels or the decibels, I guess. And if you want to do no negative two, you can do that as well. I would keep it at zero just to be safe. Or if it's too loud, you could, of course, lower it. Now here you can change the left and right uh, channels. So, of course, if you want to do a quicker way to actually do this you can just push spacebar on your keyboard as you're you know doing your mixes and that's really really helpful next thing is the type of audio interface i guess so you have stereo and you have surround so this will change the way the audio sounds so if i go ahead and push play You can tell that there is a big difference. Now on the master, and a way to explain this is that it will change the whole entire volume of all of the tracks. So if we lower it all of this and we had a second track, that will also increase the volume on that one. But we're going to go ahead and reset this and just hit OK. And the next one actually is on the music track itself. So if you right click on the on the music and you go onto show inspector, you're going to have an equalizer now. Now, right now it's currently set to default because I don't have one set, but you could actually add one, which is really cool. So you can go on classic. You can go on classic, you can do dance, you can do low bass if you don't want that much bass in your audio. You can do hard rock depending on what kind of music your genre fits in, or you can do custom. Now, I'm going to go back to default and if you click the settings icon, you can customize the equalizer. You can even customize a certain one, so you can do dance. Maybe you don't like the way it sounds, so you can tweak it a little bit by moving this up or down. So you can customize the lows, the mids, and the highs. So I'm going to go ahead and click cancel. And you also have the option to remove background noise. So if somebody's talking in the background or you're giving somebody an interview, you can click remove background noise and it will try its best to remove that background noise. So now you can do weak, mid, you have to check it first. You can do weak, mid, or strong. Now, if you do strong, the audio is going to sound a little bit different and it's going to sound a little bit weird, depending on how much background noise you have. But I'm going to go ahead and reset that and just click OK. Now, a lot of you guys are wondering how I did this. All I did is I just 
What I wanted to go for was a montage, a, game, a gaming montage of Grand Theft Auto 5, where I died and I have the wasted sign here or the symbol or whatever. And I just thought it was pretty cool and kind of funny at the same time. So I just decided to do it in Filmora. So what I did is I just, you know, got all of this gameplay from my PS4. So what I did first is I went to overlays. I went to 8-bit gamers and I added the winner effect. And this just adds a really cool overlay. It's a PNG kind of format. So you don't have to create this in After Effects, which is really cool. And it saves you a whole bunch of time. So to do that, you just drag that out on top and you're pretty much good to go. Now, it doesn't look complete without text. So I went to the text uh, option here to the text and credit and I went to 8-bit gamers and they have a whole bunch of a uh, whole bunch of text that you guys can use so they have the kind of Pac-Man kind of opening and it's actually really cool and it gives you a whole like animation of it and you can customize the text which is what I did they have this one here which is really really cool and it's just like a Pac-Man kind of counting down I think I added this one in the ending it's just a game over from Pac-Man. So a lot of these are 8-bit, and that's the, the theme that they're trying to go for. So in order to do this, or to, in order to change the text, you just go on here, double-click on the text, and then here we'll bring up the title inspector. Now, they did kind of made a few tweaks here and there, uh, and I'm not too familiar with what they did, but here, uh, you just double-click on it. I'm pretty sure it's going to say Filmora. So just double-click, change the text to wherever you want, and here is how long the animation will last. So if you push play, and then this right here is how long the text will stay on the screen. So if you don't want it to last that long, you just bring these two together, the in and the outs. And this right here will be the transition that it will take. So it's about almost one and a half seconds to transition to 100% opacity. And then it will just fade out for another almost two seconds, which is pretty cool. And then here you can change the color fill. You can do a gradient fill. So maybe you want to change the text or the color. You can do that as well so maybe you want to do something like blue and then the second one can be like a darker blue maybe purple so it kind of gives it like a fade let me go like that so it kind of looks like that and it's actually really cool you can even blur it you could change its angle maybe like that would be pretty cool or you can do a image fill so you can fill it with an image which is really cool and if you do image fill you can click this plus button and uh, add a picture which is pretty darn cool. Now here we have border. You could of course add a border if you want to. Maybe you want to do white. To do white, I would highly go here and just do 100% white. And you could do a blur with that as well. Or you can increase the size, which is really nice. You can add a shadow, of course. You can even add an animation to the text. So maybe you don't like the way it transitions into it, which is, I believe, a kind of left to right. So maybe you can change it to this one so all I gotta do is just drag it on top or just actually select it you're pretty much good to go now on the preset this is the ones that they pre-made for you uh, and yeah you can also change the type of font you want as well and then yeah for the ending or for the transitions actually so if we go on to the transitions here you're gonna have that one's just like a basic transition but we go on to this one here and this one's the Pac-Man one, and that's like one of my favorite ones. And what I did, I went onto the transitions here, and I added this one, and or you can do different ones. Now they have a bunch of like different transitions with the pack. So you have like aliens, you have blast cannon. I'm not too a fan of this one, but I like aliens. This one's pretty cool because it just kind of brings the lines down. To add it, you just click and drag it onto the video here, and it will kind of turn like this. And in order to make the transition longer or smaller or shorter I guess is to click on the edge and either expand it or make it shorter and if you want to change it just click on one and just drag it right on top and that will change the transition as you can see right there and that's pretty much it you just make all of the edits here to wherever I die and I just put the transition over it so it doesn't look too plain and then towards the end here I added uh, the text so I went to text I went to game over I dragged it over and yeah and also how I got the black and white I just right click I go to show inspector and I lowered the saturation all the way to negative 100 so you can't see the color at all so that's pretty much it for this video if you guys found it helpful in any way please drop a like that'll be awesome please comment down and I will catch you guys on my next video until then peace out take care and enjoy your day